Good morning, friends, and welcome back. I want to show you how I took this kind of a large liquor bottle and turned it into this. Technically, this is a mixed media bottle. You can see that we started with decoupage. I've got some snow on here, glitter, iridescent pearls with more glitter, some punched butterflies, fake porcelain roses, and of course, I had to add some Christmas lighting around the base. So this is a printout from the Graphics Fairy. Now, one thing I want to mention is I do have a laser printer, which means the print is water waterproof. You want to make sure those inkjet prints don't bleed or run. And what you should do is take one of the spray top coats that DecoArt makes, and I'll have links for the products down below, and just spray a very light layer over it. It will dry quickly then spray a second light layer over it again so that you can use this without it bleeding or running. And as always, I just took a little bit of rubbing alco alcohol and cleaned off my bottle. That raised print is on the back, not on the front. So it may appear like I'm putting this over that raised portion on the back, but I'm not. You'll see that as I go along. So I'm using this napkin decoupage glue by Deco Art, and that's because I'm using rice paper here. I'll have a link down below to the only rice paper that I have been able to get through my printer without it jamming up the printer when I do these decoupage prints. And you want to make sure you use scissors to cut the rice paper. I tried using that other cutter and it doesn't work. It tears the paper up. So I'm just going to place my decoupage glue down, then put my image down. Now you may notice when I cover this with another coat of the decoupage glue while it's still wet, I noticed that I took away some of the color on her nose and that's never happened before. I'm pretty sure that's because my printer keeps warning me to change the cartridges and I'm being stubborn because they're so expensive. So in this case what I did was I just cut out a second image of her face and placed it over the front. You don't have to do this. I messed up which is why I did it and you'll be able to see a little bit of a line later on and think eh, that doesn't look as good as it could but that's what happened and I'm just trying to get through the video for you. So here's this cool thing that I found that I was able to do. These are just regular old napkins. They're three ply napkins. We're actually going to use these discarded pieces or the pieces that we normally discard. So I'm separating about five of these napkins so that I have all of these excess pieces of paper from the back. I'm going to decoupage these haphazardly all over the front of the bottle, of course I'll avoid the main image here, the sides of the bottle, and I personally am leaving the back alone because I'm going to put an up light on the back so that it shines through the front image, just illuminates her face a little bit, which I'll show you a little bit later. So this you can do very haphazardly. I'm crinkling it all up and I'm doing this for two reasons. One, I'm adding some texture onto the bottle and don't worry if you've got some colors in here like I do, that's not a problem. So one is to add texture because I'm going to put some faux snow on top of this. And the other is because it will help the faux snow adhere to the glass. Once you decoupage all of this onto the glass and then cover it with snow, it's all going to last. This looks like a mess as you're doing it. So don't get discouraged because even as I was doing this, at some point I had most of the bottle covered and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm throwing this away. <laughs> but it's just how it looks when you're in the interim here. So this is all done. You can see it looks horrible. There's some stuff on the bottom here. Once this dries, I'm just going to file all of that off. I told you it looks really horrible. So you might be like, what is she going to do with that bottle? And the back, like I said, I just left alone. I'm going to let this dry overnight because clearly this is some very thick stuff. So while that was drying, 
I wanted to make these faux porcelain roses. I've got to find other ways to use these because they just come out so delicate and beautiful. And I took my Americana chalk paint, and this is the white. You can see this whole project is all in white. Even the glitter is white, with the exception of the image. And I never measure things, I just go by feel. So I took some chalk paint, I took some patio paint, and I even took some watered down white paint that I have. And I put it all in this cup and I stirred it up. But I added a little bit of plaster of Paris powder. And I just stirred this up to make it thick enough so it seemed like a pancake batter because I wanna dip my flowers into this. And I found these flowers on Amazon. I tend to go to the craft stores and look in the wedding department for those small miniature flowers and they can cost a fortune. Whereas if you get a garland like this with the flowers already on it, you've got several flowers here. So what I did was I just cut off, I think I need three or I want to use three for this project. And I dipped them into my mixture and I put them over a piece of wax paper and I also let these dry overnight. I wanted to make sure they were completely covered. So after I dipped them, I also used a brush to make sure that I got that mixture all over the flowers. So after leaving these, on it, the roses and this bottle on a piece of wax paper right near a heat vent overnight. This is dry. And I took this Deco Art Dimensional Effects Medium and I'm just using a plastic butter knife and I'm going to put it all over the bottle, every place where I have added all of those napkin pieces. Since this is one of those mediums that can dry out, I always put a little saran wrap in there. I press it down so that I get any air out of here and then I put the lid on. While the snow or our faux snow is still wet, I am taking glitter and I am sprinkling it all over at imitation snow. Then I covered my hand with a plastic bag and I just tamped down lightly the glitter into the snow. I am now using the Deco Art Chalky Finish for Glass and I'm just going to put this up around the neck of the bottle because I want to add a coat of glitter to cover that area. Now, once I apply this paint, I've got to let it dry before I add the triple thick and glitter. So I'll paint this and then I'm going to move on to the next step, which are these iridescent pearls that I want to use to frame a lot of this. Now, th I thought about just applying them this way, but I realized that they would come out a lot nicer if I had a little bit more control over them. So I took this pearl garland and I just cut off a couple of individual pearls and then I started to cut them in pieces of two and I then used my hot glue gun but I'm using the Gorilla Glue Sticks which tend to work very well. You know how some hot glue sticks you use them and things come undone pretty quickly or pretty easily? The Gorilla Glue Sticks work very well for this type of thing. So I am making a little bit of a pattern. I'm not covering the whole surface. I'm just going to add all of these pearls around the left bottom and the right top and I'll frame her face a little bit with them. As you can see here, you see I added a little snowflake there. I actually added three of them. Those were punched and I put glitter over so them. So now what I'm going to do is because the paint dried up top there, I'm going to add triple thick all around that neck over the paint. And while I'm at it, I'm going to add the triple thick over the pearls. And the glitter will add even more sparkle to it, especially at Christmas time. I just love glitter and sparkle everywhere. 
And you can very lightly press that down with your fingers to make sure the glitter doesn't come off. And I dipped a little branch that I found outside, very little twig into that same mixture before that I had. And I'm going to place it on the top of the bottle then I'm going to take this butterfly. Now I have all types of punches like butterflies, snowflakes, you know how you tend to collect these things over the years as crafters. So I'm just using my butterflies and snowflakes and I'm going to cover this in triple thick and instead of dipping it in glitter I'm actually dipping it into these glass crystals. Then I'm going to add it up around the top here. And this is just a different type of a glitter. I also have several types of molds and air dry clay. And I made this little bird. So I'm going to put the bird up here. And now for these three flowers. The cork that I am putting these on did not originally come with this bottle so I had to cut it and I remembered hearing somewhere that if you soak a cork in very hot water it makes it easier to cut because these things are really hard to cut. So I cut this in half and I was going to tape these flowers on here but it wasn't very easy so I ended up stapling them and then using white duct tape around the staples and stems. Then I added the white duct tape around the base just to keep everything white. And I then put the cork inside the bottle and I even added one of those crushed glass butterflies up here on the edge of the flower. I used a little E6000 and then I ended up using that hot glue anyway. But look at these roses. I think they're my favorite part of this project. Now what I did was I also took a little bit more of that hot glue and I put it on the back of one petal on each rose so that I stuck the three of these together. And th again, I'm using the Gorilla Glue sticks, which I'm pretty impressed with and I'll show you a couple of different angles of this now that it's all completed. So here's our bottle and the up light is on in back of it and you can see some light coming through. I added those three snowflakes there across the trim and the face you can on her face you can see where that little bit of a line is and I'm just going to take a marker later and fix that I can blend that out pretty easily I doubt you're going to make the same mistake I made and here's how our pearls look I can still see the iridescence but there's beautiful glitter on them and again we've got some spaces where I didn't cover the paper as much with snow or at all it looks like and some of that light is coming through here are our butterflies the little bird you can barely see you could see all of that beautiful glitter on here and of course our roses with the crystal glass butterfly on there so this video is a little bit longer than my normal videos, but then again, the project took a little bit longer. Rather than just standard decoupage, we started with decoupage and moved into this, this mixed medium. I had a lovely Christmas album on in the background. My favorite, I love the Charlie Brown soundtrack. And I played that the whole time. You may have your favorite that you want to listen to or even a movie in the background while you do this or some parts of this. And hey guys, thank you so much for subscribing. That's what keeps us going over here along with sharing the videos. I have an ebook on Amazon. I've mentioned this before. I did get a not so nice review where someone complained that there were no pictures in the book, even though I try to mention as often as possible that the book is an adjunct because I have hundreds of videos. So when people write me and they can't find the answers to questions and I can't get back to them, the answers are in this book. I point you back to videos. I tell you the biggest problems that people have and how to fix those. And I have several different projects in the videos. So you can turn your smart device into a free 
Kindle, which is pretty exciting, and then get all the books you want <laughs> immediately, which I love. And my ebook is one of those. It's $4.99, and I do not have pictures in there. I was not wild about the review because... I did this to help people, but I understand how some people are quite cranky during this time. I hope you guys are all doing well, because I know this has been quite the year. We're all in this together. I mean, globally, right? So I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you are having a lovely season with your family, if you're able to, and we'll all keep each other going through this very unusual year. Chin up, right? <laughs> okay, my friends, I will see you next week with another video, possibly sooner if I get a little extra time because I am just coming up with all of these wonderful ideas. So take it easy, my friends. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.